Hello. I know it's only been two days for you, but it feels like it's been such a long time since I've done this. Anyway, we're here. We're back. Your Wednesday, GeoGuessr, Diverse World Continues. So, ugh, man. Uh, always try to drink a little bit of liquid before I actually start, and for some reason my throat was like, no way, man, you're going you're gonna to struggle having any okay. Come on, let me... What the fuck? Thank you. Let me get down the road. You're going to have any sort of issue actually talking. And that's what sh that is just what happened. Now, um, as I said last week, that I was uh, very much recording Mondays last Thursday. So the weekend has passed me. It was a three-day weekend for me. Mm. I actually spent the time... On a little trip, oh, fucking every time. He didn't do this any other time. I've like immediately started recording. It never gave me this issue. Now it does. But spent the spent the weekend in Boston, and further solidifying the fact that. No, I do not want to live in that city. There was a time when I was a kid that I wanted to. I'm just going to click here for now, just because I see it. But I also know that Japan loves doing their uh, highways all across the country. So I'm very much like certain this isn't going to turn out to be anything. I think it's any, ugh, anything near here, but that's just what I'm sticking with. Hang Chunk. Can I find it? Probably not. But had a good weekend down in um, Boston. I've further solidified that children are the worst. And it's kind of my fault for knowing that. I had not been to the National, I think it's like the Natural Science Museum or Boston Science, some sort of, the Science Museum in Boston. I hadn't been there since I was a kid. Thought I'd give it a shot, only to realize that, you know, lo and behold... Why does that feel like this is Kaohsiung? Like, this is... Ooh, boy. Is this actually not Japan? Manjo? Hmm, now I'm concerned. I am concerned. I mean, if it's not here... I don't think China has the same... Like, no, they don't. Taiwan does not either. Wait a minute, it does. 26. Do I... I mean, I saw... I saw that... that sign that confused me now. Although that says... Man, now I don't know. I got 47 seconds. Now I gotta figure out. Yeah, isn't that Kaohsiung? Yeah. Okay. All right, so it wasn't. I was right. Good thing I saw that. It's 111 miles to that, though. For kilometers. Is the island even that big? Am I just, like, now completely throwing myself off? No, I don't think so. Oh, man. Oh, 26 is down here. Which makes me feel like we're, we're like, here. Let's hit home. I've got five seconds. Am I going to see it in enough time? No, because this, yeah, because that. Whatever, I think I got the island. Okay. Southern tip. I'm glad I at least got. Okay. Anyway, I hadn't been to the science museum since I was a kid. Went back again. Lo and behold, all designed for kids. All full of kids. And every single goddamn kid's a vector for disease. Parents and your kids, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you can put up with it. You guys are the, like, forerunners for leading, whatever you want to call it, for probably the strongest immune systems in the world. What the fuck is this place even? I don't know. Like, I can't make that out. Is this like Australia? Is this Africa? I'm just going to be on this long strip. This could be Philippines. This could be 
so many places. I have no idea where this is. I'm hopefully getting to some information anywhere that could help me. Did we just pass? No, we didn't. I think we did, but I'm not going to go back and look. I see a sign here. All right. Azul, that's blue. Does not help me. Does not help me in any way, shape, or form. Other than maybe this is Central America now. This could be Brazil. Is Azul a Portuguese word also for blue? I don't know. I thought blue was Azure. I don't fucking know. Anyway, the definitely was not as excited about that museum as I thought I was, so we made a plan. All right, we saw that. We're going to go to the MIT Museum, which was far, far cooler, in my opinion, and experience than the science one. I mean, if you're a kid, you're all about that science one, but Jesus Christ, you're not a kid. And you don't like getting sick. I mean, I dodged a bullet. Uh, I was the only one who did, though. So I made sure to brag about it to everybody. And again, nondescript, nothing helps me here. Okay, let's see. Anything here? Nope, just some boobs on the ground. This one sucks. I don't know what I'm, what, what this is going to be. No, no, I want to see if I can like see this from a different angle. I cannot. What does this say? Rotoplast, man, this, ugh. This is just going to be bad regardless. Are you just like here? It could be here, it could be here, it could be here. Like, I'm not getting anything helpful here. And I probably won't. I can't read what that's. It just says Rue. This could be, you know, the South Pacific. You understand my problem, my plight, my concern. Ugh. And it's it's just going to be this way. I don't think I'm going to find anything to let me know otherwise. I mean, I saw those colors on those poles. That means nothing. All these buildings have, like, little buckets of water on top. No, I want to go this way. I got 41 seconds, and I doubt I'm going to get anything to help me here. Oh, oh. Okay. Nope. Absolutely nothing helped me here. Like, I won't be surprised if this is, like, French Guiana. This is Philippines. Like, I'm, there's absolutely nothing. I'm going to get, like, four points. And I'm going to just, it's just going to sour me for the rest of the time I play this map. But I'm not, I'm not seeing anything to help me here. I probably, I definitely won't. I'm going to stop saying that because, you know, Jesus Christ, at this point, it's not, it, it, it's pointless. Here we go. Let's go. Philippines. Now, okay, I was in that point. Like, I, where, how, when, what? There was nothing there to tell me anything except Azul. Woody woo. That told me nothing. <sighs> random. Just random. I can't. I can't be mad about that. Keep left unless overtaking. So, this South Africa. This is Australia potentially. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, that's... We're definitely in this chunk of road here. Now, the problem is finding fucking Badingang, Badingara. Like, how massive is this part of the world? There's, it's, it's, it's definitely probably like so remote that I doubt I'm going to find it. And since that last one went so terribly, it really doesn't matter what I get a score for the rest of this time. I'm going to hopefully try to find a, uh, like a highway sign. Maybe that can help me. Okay, that doesn't help me. There's a little signage here. Let's see. It's Batingara seems to be a thing. Okay. But I don't know if I'm going to find any more information. Why is my phone just blast, like going nuts right now? 
I'm in a rush. I mean, I'm I'm frazzled and all over the place here, but CG one GG one twenty, huh? No, there's one twenty. Okay, so I'm gonna. What the hell is going on? Let me give a sec. Sorry, I it's it's what he's giving me. Okay, whatever. It's a friend was sick all today, and I was just getting an update from it, so he could have his two day weekend. Well, four day weekend, but good for him. So betting guard did whatever I called it. Betting did but ed whatever. I'm assuming that this is the actual highway. All right, let's let's try to focus here. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here. I'm a bit frazzled and annoyed. As I said many times, weekend was great. Went to MIT. MIT was great. The museum there was fun. Boston was okay. Found some bad food places, but when you kind of go in blind, being like, "Okay, we're hungry. We're gonna go right here," and it turns out to be bad, you really only have yourself to blame. But now you know for the future not to go there. And I don't know if it's fair to tell you what I thought was bad, because maybe you'll have a different opinion than I will. Like batting. I don't see it. Am I really just... Am I going to find it? I don't know if I'm going to. Hmm. This feels like it's a big enough, or at least well enough known, and definitely not, because I'm not seeing here. I'm, I've like fully committed to it actually being here. It will not be. My score is bad enough. I'm okay with it. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Also, continuing my... What I thought I wanted to live in a city as a kid, but now definitely do not, mainly just because I don't see it. So this this probably isn't the right road. Is there another 120 that's green? In the last five seconds? <laughs> probably not. Let's see. No, I'm fine with it. Okay, it was all the way up here. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that was, I'm pretty sure that highway thing didn't exist. Whatever. I'll take it. This is a bad round. I'm fine with it. Am I really? No, but I'm still just going to stick with it. Here we go. Oosted. This feels like super high South America, Chile, Argentina type area. I feel that that's where this is. Um, can I keep saying the word fucking Boston without actually saying anything again? Oh, we got llamas here. So yes, that's the Andes. So around here, potentially. Driving back, the... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. That is too blurry for me to make out. Let's try twice. Yep, too blurry for me to make out. The uh, drive back, it was snowing, raining. But it, it, you know, that was kind of it, but it also really had to do with uh, people on the road. And we were driving just outside of Boston, and a guy next to us in the lane just decided, okay, I'm going to turn into your lane without like looking at all and if I didn't do anything would have plowed right into the passenger side of my car the front passenger door so I laid on the horn braked and then he finally went by me I'm like a hundred percent sure even then he didn't even notice uh later on uh we eventually passed him again and we happened to look, and he was 100. He was just looking at his phone the entire time. So I was like, "Well, fantastic! He is amazing. I'm, I'm so happy." Cusco, okay, that is a familiar, familiar name. I've seen it before. I don't know if I'll find it. Oh, there's Cusco. Okay, we're like here somewhere. Arequipa. <laughs> That's exactly how you pronounce it. But uh, probably like uh, 
five, ten minutes after he passed him. I happened just to look behind me, and he had once again decided, okay, I'm going to turn, and he turned right into the side of a car uh, in the next lane over, sideswiped them both, and they both went right into the left-hand, like, barricade, whatever you want to call them. And uh, is this, like, a border? Are we in a border? Um, we are, but I don't know if this is Chive. Are we like on the border of this? No, because nothing's really close, but why would there be such a border check here? I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm fine with leaving it right here. Let's see what this says. Ministry of Ambient. Whatever you want to call it. No, no, I didn't want it twice. Tintaya. Like this is this is too high for it not for it to be a uh, between two countries, I believe. And it, they wouldn't do Cusco here. It's too far away from any border. So I'm fine with this. Let me get a drink. Sorry. And I also was quickly like I watched it all happen. It was a pretty busy highway, but I did kind of feel like should I actually you know stop and help? I'm sure that would eventually been like worse because I'm stopping. There's other people behind me. Oh, we were quite a bit off, but the country was right at least. And there's also a bunch of cars behind you too that could have stopped and helped too. But also, like, are you obligated even being behind them to stop and try to help too? Like, I don't know how like not good Samaritan laws, but like not going to help. I don't know how that actually if like are you supposed to or it's an obligation? If you know what you're doing, I feel like you should. But I also didn't think me not having any medical experience or knowledge in any way, I probably would have done more harm than good. But you know, there's you can at least stop and dial nine one one. But there was enough other cars there that somebody stopped and helped. But I'm so glad. I was not involved in that, regardless of how much Lithuania LT makes me think we're in Lithuania here. Okay. I'll just click here for now. This is going to be a small enough, like, little town <clears throat> town that I'm going to go back and just take a look at the, the, the name of it. What was it like? Merkine or Panara. I'll just look for that here. I doubt I'm going to find it. Because as fun as it is to be like, oh, this is 100% your fault, phone stare guy, you still got to deal with it. I mean, it was shitty weather out. You were stuck on the side of the road, snowing, raining. Did he have insurance? Did he not? Was there a reason he was looking at the phone? Is he going to try to run away again? I mean, how long of an issue is... I mean, I was... We were four hours away from actually being home and then just being stuck there. And then what I've gotten to work the next day, I got to you know, have a rental car. I'm sure all the stuff he would pay for, assuming he had insurance. And it's just, yeah, it's that dream thing of it's 100% their fault, but then you've got to actually hold them accountable, assume that they can be held accountable and get stuff out of them. Because, you know, if you didn't have insurance, then you have the uninsured motorist stuff. It, 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 it's things I don't want to think about. And the easiest way to avoid that being a problem is just not to live in a big city and around them. The, it's a less, less of a chance, I guess, of you running into people just by the fact that less people, less chance. Doesn't mean there's not assholes, assholes in every town. And in, in the remote, most remote places, you can still get assholes. But there's just a less of a chance of it if you live in a non city. And as fun as Boston is, no thank you. I am fine not living there, visiting, maybe even not going again. Kind of got my fill. I'm going to go see like a thing or two, but I really don't need to stay there. Have a guy yell at me in the morning. I guarantee, no. It was Sunday at like 7 or 8, and there was like no one out in the street except the quote-unquote riffraff, whatever you want to call them, just people hanging out in the morning, 
And then some guy just decided to yell at us, give us some story. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not. Me being the cynic of like, oh, did you really hold your family and they die in a car crash? I don't believe you. You just want an excuse to yell at anybody and rile them up. I guess good for you. But that's also my mindset of like, why do that? I mean, yeah, your life could suck. It might not. You just want to annoy people in the morning. But why? Other than be like, ah, I just can. Well, good for you. And it's weird how those two little things kind of just, it didn't ruin the weekend, but it also colored it a certain way. Where I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. This has actually turned out to be Lithuania. I really hope it did. Yeah, okay, it did. Did I, I had to zoom in quite a bit to find that. Whatever. I'm happy I got the country. Even with the most baffling thing here, I'm still pretty satisfied with how this ended up turning out. Um, I guess, sorry, it was just kind of a complaint fest. I'm hoping that won't happen again. But uh, we have one more day this week, at least for these, and we're going to uh, finish it up with another Diverse World one for Friday. Then we'll switch it up with, there was at least one or two suggestions for some things. I haven't had a chance to look at them, and I don't remember them, but I will look at them. And if you guys have any other suggestions for anything, no games, thoughts, maps for GeoGuess, or whatever you want. Let me know. Put them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. But for now, you're halfway through the week. You're almost there. Just keep at it. We'll see you then. Goodbye.